today's digital age with social media and current world events, we've become more isolated, making true connections harder. This video looks at how old Stoic teachings can help us understand and navigate our romantic choices. We'll learn how to rely on reason rather than just feelings to find a partner who truly matches us. First, we should address the idea of love at first sight. Many stories and films have made us believe it's an instant emotion, primarily about looking good. Don't be tricked by such stories or societal pressures. Love isn't a lightning strike. It's not a treasure you find by chance. Most times, love needs to be developed. It demands ongoing effort, commitment, patience, time, and the foundation of trust. That explains why real love, when betrayed, cuts deep. It's vital to distinguish between genuine love, fixation, and just physical attraction. Mixing these up can lead to harmful relationships making it hard to move on. Such misconceptions can deeply hurt us emotionally. Real love is about recognizing, dedicating oneself to, and valuing the other person's character and significance. It's about appreciating not just who they are now, but their future self too. This sentiment is the foundation of traditional relationships and any deep, heartfelt connection. Recognize that your happiness and mental state are closely tied to the relationships you choose to invest in. Never forget that love isn't merely directed at a partner, but should equally focus on self-love. Aim for a relationship that respects both individuals. Avoid committing more to someone who doesn't match your efforts. Holding on to your dignity, treasuring yourself, and knowing when to move on are vital for emotional health. Remember, if you're suffering and your partner doesn't adjust their behavior after talks, the distress will drag on, leading you to undervalue yourself over time. So, value yourself, uphold your dignity, and know when to walk away. Understand that time gradually softens even the sharpest of pains. There may be lingering marks, but they aren't forever. Also, realize that you can't transform anyone. Pushing someone unready for change is a losing battle. In such scenarios, I recommend resorting to stoic principles. Move forward with confidence, discarding what doesn't uplift your spirit. The manner in which you handle post-breakup situations is in your hands. Uphold hopefulness, assimilate lessons, and evolve better informed. You may be contemplating how to select a life partner. A frequent error, particularly among men, is concentrating too much on aspect. I'm not undermining the role of physical chemistry. It plays a vital role in the relationship dynamic, crucial for our species progression. Yet outer beauty is temporary and shouldn't be the main criterion in your partner search. The nice looking and youngness don't last forever. If these are the only anchors in your relationship, you'll face uncertainties when they will be gone. Search for a connection that's deeper, that passes the test of time and remains steadfast with years gone by. Don't get blinded by the modern day notion of physical idealness. Prioritize finding someone valued for their intellect who could be your best mate, your guiding light and your best supporter in rough times. Find a partner with whom you can imagine establishing a family and trust with raising kids. This guidance is for everyone, irrespective of gender. Prioritizing appearance narrows your prospects and overlooks potential matches. Don't get hung up on someone who doesn't share your feelings. There are times we place bets on those who remain indifferent, consuming precious time and compromising our worth for their attention. Ancient wisdom teaches us to embrace what we can't change, and indeed, we can't dictate someone's feelings for us. Think about this. With so many people out there, one person's rejection might just mean they failed to see what you truly offer. A refusal might signal a mismatch that isn't clear now, but time will shed light on. So, chin up and move on. 
many out there will value what you truly are. Understand that multiple chances await. Keep in mind, every rejection you face propels you closer to an acceptance that reshapes your destiny. The wise emperor Marcus Aurelius, an admirer of ancient wisdom, had by his side a woman who mirrored his heart and mind. Their alliance shines brightly in the pages of Roman history. For Aurelius, Faustina wasn't just the crown's jewel, she was his soulmate, counsel, and peer in numerous ways. Their relationship's richness was mirrored in their letters and mutual choices. Marcus Aurelius and Faustina's bond was a live demonstration of the timeless principles they internalized and practiced. Embracing stoic virtues like moderation, fairness, bravery, and insight, they infused these in their leadership and personal interactions. Side by side, they confronted difficulties, persisting with calmness and clarity amidst personal and political disturbances. Being the leader of the Roman Empire, Marcus Aurelius faced the heartbreak of child loss and the weight of guiding the Roman Empire. In these trying times, Faustina became his beacon of hope and strength. Yet, rumors and claims tried to besmirch their union. Unyieldingly, Marcus Aurelius backed her, shielding their bond from negative external influences. Yet, through every challenge, Marcus Aurelius resolutely defended her, keeping their relationship unharmed by external slander. This resolute commitment mirrors the ancient principle of moral valor and deep-seated loyalty. When we look back in time, love isn't just a feeling, it's a deliberate commitment. Drawing inspiration from Marcus Aurelius and Faustina, we should aspire to love based on more profound attributes like character, moral uprightness, and compatibility rather than just looks or wealth. This embodies the essence of timeless love. In today's world, where things change quickly, many believe love is just a feeling. But real, lasting love is built on trust, understanding, and respect. Just like how ancient leaders found true love in tough times, we should look for love that's deeper than just looks or money. This is what real love is all about. How do you feel about these age-old love teachings? Share your thoughts below. Also, please let me know if the music is too loud in the comments. And while you're here, please hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.